Hey guys, today we'll be presenting Interconnected, a project by Michael Avramopoulos, Will McGregor, Billy Robinson and Will Jackson. Firstly, we'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung people and the Boorong peoples of the Kulin Nation, and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Some context initially on Footscray. So there's a population of around 17,536 and 23% of these are families with children. The vision for Footscray in creating pocket parks is driven by the principle of biodevilia, aiming to offer vibrant, accessible green spaces where people can connect with nature, find relaxation and build community. These parks will serve as peaceful retreats from urban life, enhancing well-being and fostering a sense of belonging. A pocket park is a small, typical urban green space designed to offer a recreational area or natural retreat in densely populated areas. Key features to take away from the Gwen Street Pocket Park are the variety of flora, seating and subtle curves. When we talk about biophilia, it refers to the intimate human connection to nature and living systems. Key principles include environmental features, natural patterns and processes, place-based relationship, natural shape and form, light and space, and biodiversity. What are some challenges with pocket parks? These could be limited spaces. Pocket parks are small in size, which restricts the number of features or amenities that can be included. This can make it challenging to serve the diverse needs of different community groups. Overcrowding. Pocket parks in densely populated areas can quickly become overcrowded, reducing their appeal and usability, particularly during peak times or events and seasonal limitations. Pocket parks can be less versatile in areas with extreme weather conditions, limiting their use during certain times of the year. Pocket parks will be a beneficial addition to the people living in the Footscray area as people will be more connected to nature and provide more greenery in the area and help to build a stronger community identity. Conducting a Valhalla maps, mapping study of the existing green spaces within the Footscray suburb, you can see that the area is accessible within a 15 minute walk radius from these existing green spaces. Easily visible is the large spaces with no green spaces, which make up a portion of the central area of the suburb. Looking at the Footscray structure plan, there are three types of zones that break up the built form of Footscray. These being residential, business and industrial zones. This is a key consideration that needs to be taken in into consideration as a pocket park will be used in different ways due to the people in those areas. Thus we have chosen to propose five new pocket parks to link the existing green spaces together as well as elevate the activation of the currently unused areas. Three of these parks will be located in the residential zone, one in the business zone and one in the industrial zone as shown in the pins on screen. These five new pocket parks will not only link with each other, but also link the existing parks together, with each being a maximum of 15 minutes to walk between each. Combining the Valhalla 15 minute walk maps will show that the inclusion of these new pocket parks will cover the whole central area of the Footscray suburb. We looked at native flora in the area to be suitable in these pocket parks displayed here. Parks located within a residential zone will be focused on activation for the parents with children. For example, having playgrounds for young children and shelter for parents and or large gatherings of groups. Parks located within a business zone will be focused on activating the area for the benefit of the people working in these businesses. For example, providing a pocket park more orientated around seating to provide a breakout space for businessmen and women for lunches or even outdoor meetings or places for people to catch up for coffee. Parks located within an industrial zone will be more focused on activating the heavily built up areas zone for factories. For example, these areas will be for a larger size for the large amount of people working in these areas using the pocket park potentially for large luncheons or even safety meetings or activities. In these parks, there will be a mixture of seating and shading space with larger open spaces. The following sun analysis shows that planting of trees within the pocket parks provides additional shading, thus enhancing the spaces for the community to use. Okay, so who wants to go to the park? I do, I do.